So these are the latest generations of prototypes that we've been working on. We're inside uh, an enclosure that's a container uh, that is very highly insulated. This is our third generation wall um, that we use to develop a system whereby we can grow a huge variety of plants in the same wall, which is essential to be able to feed uh, troops overseas and to, uh, inside bases. Uh, because most uh, hydroponic systems are focused on specific one type uh, of a plant. Here, as you can see, there's many, many, many types of varieties. Um, our fourth generation, which is what we're putting on the pitch, is, is this one. It is exactly the same capacity as this one, uh, which allows us to put an additional row, which will increase the yields by about 20% more. Uh, but in addition to that, this is great advantage is because we've been able to mitigate the usage of water. Uh, and uh, this is actually running only 30 seconds every four hours. Uh, it actually uses five times less water than this uh, particular version. Uh, and, and this is also coupled with uh, very sophisticated uh, lighting systems that use an electromagnetic spectrum. As you can see, uh, we not only have daylight here, but we have near infrared, high infrared, and actually invisible spectrum. That when combined, they create an effect called the Emerson effect, which essentially allows plants to grow extremely quickly. Um, when we use these plants, we're able to harvest about three times per month. Uh, and the great advantage for the troops is that, as you can see, this particular plant has been harvested probably about 20 times, which means that the amount of seed that we're using on the field is cut down tremendously because we take the plant, harvest it again and again and again and again, and because of the conditions that we create within the structure where we nurture the growth of the plants, we're sending the proper spectrum. We're sending the lights, uh, the proper frequencies of lights. This allows us, uh, with very small consumption of resources uh, and only 10.5 kW of power in a whole structure, uh, to grow plants over and over and over again and harvest rapidly. Our full structure is going to be much wider than this. It's only a, a prototype container. Uh, our full expandable container will use uh, about, uh, will host about uh, 11,520 plants. Um, and uh, we're also going to use not only these technologies, but we're also developing another technology, these rotating towers, that is going to allow us to grow even a broader variety of edible plants within a small structure.